Omega, ATV Inator is all done. And I gotta work on the name though. Man, look at this thing. It has the awesome flare there and the cool T-Rex Ranch logo in the front and all my darts everywhere and my mega lunchbox. It even has the shrink ray and the mega dino ray. Man, this thing is so cool. I think it's about time to take it out for a spin. Okay, here we go. Hat go off. Helmet go on. All right, there we go. Okay, let's get going. Okay, Mr. Triceratops, here comes Mr. Raptor. He's gonna get you. <laughs> and Mr. Carnivore defeats the herbivore again. <laughs> Uh-oh. Woo! Wow, man! This thing is awesome! There's a paddock fence down! I gotta sound the alarm! The alarm's going! Huh? Is that the park alarm I just heard? Come in, Park Ranger LB. Whoa! Whoa. Park Ranger Aaron's calling me on my walk to watch. Yeah, go ahead, Park Ranger Aaron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the paddock fence power sources has failed. Now the entire paddock fence is down. What? If the paddock fence has failed, which one is it? Uh, it looks like it could be the Stegosaurus paddock. Uh, but you know, it could be the paddock fence that's shared with the T-Rex paddock. So uh, I don't know, you I have to be careful. I need you to come back to Dino HQ right away and get a new power source, okay? Okay, I'm on my way. Come on, new and improved ATV. We have some new and improved work to do. Oh. Where's he going? What's he going up on the road for? Oh, wait. Oh, here he goes. Uh oh, the signal's breaking up there. Oh, okay, his back's back. Good. Whoa, okay. Here we go. Whoa. Ah, ah, oh man, phew, oh no, my engine died. Come on, go, go, go. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Ah. No, my mega lunchbox. Ah. Yeah, this is it. way around the park by now. We're going into the woods, Park Ranger LB. Whoa. Okay. Oh no. I'm entering the Stegosaurus path. Better beware. OK. 
day around that corner, and that corner, and around that corner. Oh man, I just stuck a short. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna? Aha! Oh, oh, oh. Let's drink it! Too important of a mission. Okay. Yeah. Hey, little stegosaurus! That's what you get for going in my path. Now you're a little bitty little stegosaurus instead of a big old dino. Okay, let me put you in my backpack and I'll put you back later, okay? Okay, let's put you in there. There we go. Oh yeah, don't touch that restarter. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Ooh, oh, okay. Yeah, all around there. Yeah, here we go. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, yeah. This is the T-Rex paddock. Oh, look, there it is. I don't want to run into T-Bone today. Oh, here it is. Okay. Oh man, that one's really dead. Uh-oh. <gasps> charging, charging, charging! Come in, Park Ranger OB! Whoa! Park Ranger Aaron. <sighs> yeah, go ahead, Park Ranger Aaron. I see T-Bone on the radar! He's coming right for your location, man! T-Bone! You gotta get out of there quick, hurry, he's right on top of you. Okay, I'll be right there. I just gotta finish charging this battery. Come on, come on, come on. Charge, okay. Come on, zipper. What? Oh no. Up. It's not flashing anymore here on the map. Oh yeah, just in the nick uh, kind of time. I had to zap T-Rex back in using the Mega Dino Ray. <sighs> wow, man, that was an awesome adventure. Hey, that's great work, man. You did an awesome job getting that thing fixed like that. Why don't you go ahead and come on back to Dino HQ, okay? Okay, I can't do that just yet. I still have to enlarge the Stegosaurus. I kind of shrunk down earlier. Stegosaurus? Yeah, it's a long story, but just to make it short, I'm gonna go zap it. Woohoo! Okay, spiky wiky, come on out, man! <sighs> okay, oh no, sorry, sorry. Boop. Okay, here we go, Spike! Okay, Park Ranger AJ, what do you think the biggest animal that's ever lived on a planet is? Do you think it's like a giant monkey or some kind of enormous blue-tailed squirrel? Probably a dinosaur. Oh, yeah. Like which kind? Hmm. 
Maybe the Brachiosaurus? Could be. And that's what we're here today to find out. The biggest animal in the world? That's right. Why in the forest? This is not just any forest. This is the brrrr, the prehistoric forest. Well, that's convenient. I thought so. Let's go figure it out. Yep, the Stegosaurus. This dinosaur could be it. Yeah, he's pretty big. 30 feet long, 11,000 pounds. Ah, but I don't know. There might be other contenders out there. Yeah. Chud! Who's that? Dad? You talk dino? He's pretty big. Parasaurolophus. It can grow to be up to 33 feet long. That's three feet bigger than the other dino. Huh. So, so far, this is the winner. Yeah. You know, this is a member of the duck bill dino family. I wonder if he speaks duck. <laughs> Nothing. All right. I bet there's bigger ones out there. Let's go see. Chud! 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 What was that? You plow cephalus. Oh, yeah. Now look, this is no bigger than the other dinos. But here's an interesting fact. That these guys were so well protected that even the eyelids had armor. Well, I guess he's getting some pretty good shut eye. Wish I had thought of that joke. Judge! Judge! Do you hear that? Judge! Yeah, I did. Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. What's Chad? I don't know. All right. Good chat. Triceratops! Oh, yeah! Now we know these. We got a bunch of them at T Rex Ranch. Now, they're not the biggest, but they're certainly the heaviest. And the cutest, look at him. Oh yeah, he's certainly not the biggest. Paleontologists say these guys were the cows of the Cretaceous period. The cows? Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it! <laughs> he did it. Judge! Did you hear that? Did you? Yeah, again. Maybe someone or some something thing is trying to tell us something. Maybe Chad is what we're looking for. Maybe you're right. Well, let's keep looking. You didn't like the move? You should have told the other joke. Tyrannosaurus Rex! The king of the dinos. This could be it. I mean, it gets to be 40 feet long and 20 feet high. It weighs as much as four pickup trucks. This could be Chad! Yes! No, Chad! Oh! Not Chad! How's it possible? What is Chad? Where is Chad? Who is Chad? Am I hooking by crook? We're gonna go find out! Yeah! Excuse me, do you know what Chad is? Thanks, anyway. Excuse me, miss. Do you know where Chad is? Thank you very much. This is Chad, a whale. That's the largest animal ever. Wow. Wait, but what about the Mesosaurus from Jurassic World? Well, it's not a dinosaur. That's a marine reptile. 
and I only grew up to be 50 feet long. Well, what about the Megalodon? Which is actually a shark, and that got up to be only 59 feet long. So this thing is twice as large. Holy cow! Yeah, I don't understand why it's so blue. Cheer up, you're so big. A hundred feet long! What? Wait a minute, it says he's got a hundred feet. I don't see any feet. He's a hundred feet long. Oh, well, that makes more sense. It says here its tongue can weigh as much as an elephant. Its tongue can weigh as much as an elephant? That's humongous, it's gonna be so heavy. So this is it? The biggest animal that's ever lived? And this is a small one, look. It's from a juvenile male. This is only 72 feet long compared to what it could be. It's not even fully grown. If they got one thing right, this is astonishing in every way. Wow. Chad, you've been calling us. We're so happy to find the answer to the largest animal on Earth. Yeah. Wait a minute. It says one of the loudest animals on Earth? Huh. I bet I could be Laura! Oh, bad. Hey, Park Ranger Andy. Hatred. I'm not a trash can. Oh. Oh. oh, I'm sorry, Park Ranger Asher. I guess my aim is off. But so are my ideas. What are you working on? I'm trying to come up with this year's famous T Rex Ranch skills course. But it just can't be any old skills course. It's got to be the greatest skills course ever to make up for last year's, you know, incident. <laughs> Turns out, make a dinosaur laugh is a little too challenging. So this year, I have to redeem myself. Wait, can I help? This is the only time I can earn the skills course builder achievement badge. And you know, it's the rarest badge of all. That's because building a skills course is so much harder than it looks. Well, I have so many ideas, like something with bubbles. Bubbles? Yeah, dinosaurs love bubbles. They do? Huh, well, I'll think about it, but you gotta think bigger. This year's gotta be the biggest and best skills course ever, or I'm not fit to wear this uniform. That really doesn't fit. Hmm, you know, I'm sorry, Park Ranger. I think I have to do this alone. Wait. How about a competition where we both try and come up with a course? And then whoever wins truly earns the skills course builder badge. Does that mean that could be me? The recipient of an extremely rare skills course builder achievement badge? <gasps> I do like the sound of that. Okay, you got yourself a deal, buddy boy. Now, somebody should really clean this place up. What a great idea. And another one. I have so many amazing ideas. Aw, I'm, uh, I'm gonna go for a walk. Yeah, maybe that'll spark the old inspiration station. Good luck. Luck? <laughs> I don't need luck. Once the ideas get flowing, I will be back in two, no, in one hour. Doesn't seem like much time, but sure, I guess I'll meet you in an hour to pick the winner. Wait, really? Uh, uh okay then. One hour. In my big mouth. Okay, see you in an hour. <laughs> and he has another one. There's gotta be something around here to inspire me. Something like, like those trees. <gasps> or the beautiful sky. <gasps> or dirt. Dirt? Dirt's not an idea. Oh, come on. Now look at that. Look how beautiful those creatures are. Sometimes I just need to stop really reflect on them. these gorgeous animals. Kind of makes me want to sing. 
Oh, this must be what inspiration feels like. Oh, this must be what I've been searching for. Ah, you're not supposed to be in this part of the ranch. Please, please don't eat me. Please don't eat me. Hey, you like my singing. I mean, uh, you like my singing. You like my singing. You like, you like, you like, you like my singing. La 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 Not bad. I wonder how Andy's doing. Skills course, skills course. Why can't I come up with the skills course? Yeah, hi. Uh, well, maybe if I didn't have to sing to you, then I could come up with something. Oh, yeah! So basically, 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 it's your fault, your fault, your fault, your fault, la 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 la, your fault. Oh, curse my beautiful voice. My ideas are small, but I think it's enough to win the skills course builder patch. Time's almost up. Park Ranger Randy, wherever you are. Almost out of time, all alone, all alone. Why don't you leave and go back home? Go back home. I want. You know what? No. I am done. I am done singing for you. I have a skills course to create and a build a batch to earn, so no more singing, no matter what the consequences are. <laughs> if only I could come up with an idea to get an angry pack of raptors on my back! <laughs> Wait a minute, that's it! That's my big idea! <laughs> oh, oh, Major Usher, I am so happy to see you and not one of those raptors. Okay. Want to see my skills course? Oh, you bet. I am ready for the big reveal. Okay, the obstacles may look easy, but the difficulty level is high. Let's see. Turn around! Whoa! Whoa! Look at this! Wow! I mean, how? All this in one hour? And I only just came up with one big idea. I guess you won. Hmm. My course only has small obstacles, so it would be a lot better with one big exciting obstacle at the end. Like mine? Yeah. Maybe we combine our ideas and make the greatest skills course of all time. I would be honored. Okay, on your mark. Get set. Go. Impressive! I can't do that with my eyes open! And go! Okay, go! Gotcha! Great job! Now that's one! You got three more to get! That doesn't count. You have to get the dynasty past the orange cones. Allosaurus, Dimetrodon, uh, 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 Tyrannodon, uh, Gigantosaurus, and uh, Spinosaurus. <laughs> All right. A bit. <gasps> <laughs> come on, come on, the clock is ticking, the clock is ticking! Which dinosaur has a large brain and long claws for tailing their prey? Raptors! Okay, no, no, T-Rex, there you go, no. Oh yeah, Raptor! Here we go! <gasps> Kia! 
get me! Oh no way! No time! I gotta win! Okay, park ranger, are you ready for the exciting and extremely dangerous finale, the Raptor Roundup? Did you say extremely dangerous? Well, yeah, potentially extremely dangerous. But that's why we're doing this as the first ever Team Skills Course Challenge. Are you ready, park ranger? As I'll ever be. <coughs> Here we go. Me, 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 me. Hey there, raptors, come along with me. Let's go back to your home where you're supposed to be. La, 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 la. Let's go back. Bum, bum, bum. And here we are on out of songs to sing. This better work, Park Ranger, I should do your thing. For the bubbles, for the bubbles, for the bubbles. Uh, you better move faster. Those doctors look really angry. <laughs> Hey, look, you did it! And in record time! I mean, no one's ever done this before, but it's still a record! We better get out of here before they come looking for more bubbles! Good idea! Here we go, the skills course builder bag, sir! And one for you, sir. Thank you, sir! Looks pretty good if I do say so myself. And now for the final challenge of the day. Who could earn the billion bubble badge? There you are, Park Ranger Asher. Do you know what day this is? Hmm, is it your birthday? No. Wait, is it my birthday? No, it's Dino Appreciation Day. Did you get my email? Um, maybe, but I've been busy working on my latest gadget, a levitation device. I call it the Movasaur. Hey, wait a minute. My favorite mug. Oh, oh, you should probably wash it before you drink anything from it. I'm growing a mold colony inside. Okie dokie. Well, anyway, I'm thinking about going to get some party supplies. I want to get pizza and some balloons and pizza. Ooh, and maybe a generator to power some party lights. Sound good? You bet. I'm going to be back before you can say Snaggletooth Stegosaurus. Snaggletooth Stegosaurus. Okay, well, maybe not that fast, but I'll be back. No way I'm getting caught. Mr. Allosaurus, time to get up. Wakey, wakey. Hmm. Allosaurus. Oh, like Allosaurus. <laughs> oh, wait, I have an idea. Oh. This is a giant T-Rex, and if you don't wake up, I'm going to eat ah! Ah! That didn't work. I have another idea. <laughs> this horn will get it. 
Oh, I give up. I'll call Park Ranger Asher. You don't know what to do. Park Ranger Asher, this is Park Ranger Andy. You read? You're in for it. More like Alice Norris. Hey, that's what I said. <laughs> well, look, it's still funny. Hey, how about we use your gadget to move the Alice Norris? The move a Sure, we can try it. It's working! It's working! It's not working! The Rufusaur needs more power. I'm gonna have to think of something else. Well, I mean, I could push the Allosaurus out of the way. After all, I am pretty strong. <laughs> nice try, but the Allosaurus weighs over 6,000 pounds. Oh, this stinks! A dinosaur ruined dino appreciation day? I could practically smell the pizza getting cold. Wait, that's it! We can use the food to wake up the Allosaurus! He has an excellent sense of smell. But then we won't have any pizza left for the celebration! And then what's the point of dino appreciation day? Sorry, Park Ranger. We have to sacrifice the pizza. It's the only way. Fine. Let's do it. So, what's the plan? And does it involve us eating this pizza? No. We're gonna place the pizza down, hide in the T-Rex one, and wait for the Alistairs to wake up. Okay, but I like my plan better. Were you going to eat all that by yourself? <gasps> okay, okay, look, I don't blame you. Well, I mean, I went and then he went and then. Oh, oh, wait, never mind. Look! He went right by the block of the road! Right where we began! Aww. All for nothing! And now we don't even have any pizza! What are we gonna do? Now, if 
If I connect the mover sort to the generator, it might have enough power to move the allosaurus out of the room. Let's give it a go. It's charging! Perfect! Now we just sit back and wait for it to get done. What was that? I don't know. Look, it's a little of carbon and balloons! Why would it do that? Uh, look, it's waking a dino! Park Ranger Asher, how's that charge coming? Just one minute, it's almost done! Uh, I don't think we'll have a minute! Almost there! Uh, I don't think we'll get in on Dome's appreciation day! It's ready! Or is that a dinosaur shaped cloud? It worked! I can't believe it! Hey! Great job! But what happens when you drop them back down? Good question. By the way, I kind of owe you a new coffee mug. What did you do? Sorry. You better put coffee in it. And no mold colonies. Mmm, mold colonies. Whoa! Uh, well that was hot. Are you okay, Park Ranger Asher? Yeah, but where are we? This doesn't look like the ocean. No, but... Oh, wait a minute! I think I see water over there! Hmm... I don't think so, Park Ranger Andy. It's probably just a mirage. Oh, a mirage? You know I do not speak the French. A mirage is an optical illusion caused by atmospheric conditions, like extreme heat. Oh, sounds like magic to me. You mean like this magical tooth that just transported us into the desert from T-Rex Ranch? Where have you taken us? I can answer that question. Hi, who are you? I should ask you the same thing. I'm Park Ranger Andy, and this is my associate, Park Ranger Asher. Well, hello Andy, hello Asher. My name is Rob, and you're in a magical place called Shark Tooth Hill. Sharks are Bill. We were trying to get to the ocean. That's true, but if sharks are here, that means the oceans can't be too far, right? Well, that's both right and wrong. Yeah. Um, the ocean's miles away from here now, but we were once 800 feet below the ocean, and now we're at 800 feet above the ocean, and we are standing on an ancient seafloor. That's really cool. So maybe you can help us identify this shark tooth we found. It's way too big to be modern shark tooth. Right? That's correct. Well, I think I know what this is, but I think you would be better off going down to the Buena Vista Museum of Natural History. Down there, they'll be able to identify that properly. Oh, we'll go down there right now. Thank you, Rob. Well, you're welcome, but where is your car? I didn't see you drive up here. Would you believe a magical shark to transport us here? No. Hmm. Well, then I suggest you turn around. Okay. Okay, Magical Shark Tooth, please transport us to the Buena Vista Museum of Natural History! Whoa! about. This magical tooth is a very convenient way to travel. You can say that again. Let's go inside. Yeah, let's say that again. Whoa. Hi. Welcome to the Buena Vista Museum of Natural History. My name is Travis. I'm a docent here, which means I can actually take you around and show you the fossils that we have. That'd be great. A friend of ours recommended that we come here, check it out. So that's why we're here. Also, we found this shark tooth that we think might be from an ancient shark, and we heard that you might be able to help us learn more about it. Well, you've definitely come to the right place. We have one of the largest collections of Miocene fossils from this area, including a large collection of shark's teeth. 
How about I show you guys around? Yes! What do you do at T-Rex Ranch? Oh, we're park rangers. Park rangers? Well, what kind of animals do you have? Well, would you believe me if I told you it was a secret dinosaur sanctuary? Uh, no. Then I will mention it. All right, how about you guys follow me? Welcome to the Dinosaur Hall. I want to show you some of my favorite exhibits around here. You guys ready to go? Yeah. All right. Hey, look, the Ketakoala's gotta be the oldest dinosaur I've ever seen. Yeah. It's bones or wood. Let's go learn something. Let's go. So do you know what this is? Yeah, that's a Mosasaur, right? Yeah, correct. Uh, a lot of people think that this is a dinosaur, but actually it's related to animals uh, like lizards and snakes. Uh, one of its closest living relatives is actually the Komodo dragon. Uh, let's actually take a look at the skull right here, and I can show you guys how it's related. Um, if you look at the side of the bottom jaw right there, there's a hinge joint, and that actually allows the Mosasaur to open its mouth wider to engulf uh, bigger prey. And just like uh, some snakes in the back of the jaw, you can actually see a second row of teeth. This is the same one that was in Jurassic World? Yes, this is actually about an average size for a mosasaur, which could be about 30 to 40 feet. But I can show you an animal that gets just as large as the animals that are in those movies. All right, let's go see it. So this is actually the femur of one of the largest dinosaurs that ever existed. Now the femur bone is actually the bone in your leg that connects from your hip down to your knee. And just by looking at this bone right here, you can see how big this animal was. Of an animal called Argentinosaurus. He was actually one of the largest dinosaurs that ever lived. He could grow up to about 93 tons. It's way bigger than me. Yeah, it's way bigger than me too. So I have one more thing to show you guys. All right, all right, come with me. No, I'm scared, yeah, but I would love a bone that size. All right, so what we have here is the skull of a Triceratops, and this one is actually a cast. Now, a cast is an exact replica of the original fossil. We don't want to put the original fossils on display because they are fragile and over time could probably fall apart. Did you know what the Triceratops skin looked like? Well, we actually know that. Uh, there's fossil impressions of the skin, specifically of the back, showing these large bony scales that have an attachment point for a quill, just like in a feather. Oh, so this is basically one giant chicken. Well, not entirely. Those feathers were not actually feathers. Think of more like a porcupine quill. Oh, that's worse. And if you look at the skull right here, you can see these deep grooves and impressions in the back of the frill. Now, these are where the blood vessels would have been. It's been theorized that Triceratops may have actually had a covering of keratin along its frill, which is the same stuff that your fingernails are made out of. And using that keratin with the blood vessels underneath, if it were threatened by a T-Rex, he could flush his face full of blood, making himself a brighter color and thereby intimidating the dinosaur. Uh, the horns may have been able to do that as well, as they were also covered in keratin, making them much larger in real life. We can actually tell the age of the animal based on the horns as well. We know that when Triceratops was a hatchling, the horns face backwards, but as they matured into adults, they begin to rotate forwards. So how old do we think this Triceratops was? This one may have been a teenager. And how long do they usually live? Uh, well, for Triceratops, that's probably unknown, but based on other dinosaurs, we see that other dinosaurs can live up to 30 years. All right, would you guys like to see another Ceratopsian? Yeah. All right, then come with me. And here we have the entire cast skeleton, uh, not just the skull, the entire skeleton of a Chasmosaurus. A Chasmosaurus was a Ceratopsian dinosaur, which was a horned dinosaur, just like Triceratops. 
but Chasmosaurus lived much earlier than Triceratops. And as you can see, his frill seems much larger than what we were seeing on the Triceratops. And the name Chasmosaurus actually means opening lizard. And it comes from these big, huge openings in the skull right there. Now, you see his frill is a little bit larger than Triceratops, and so we believe that he may have had patterns like giant eyes on top of his frill right here to make himself look bigger if he was attacked by a predator. So we do actually have an augmented reality sandbox. Would you guys like to see that? Yeah. All right, then come with me. Oh no, there's a velociraptor behind us. All right, so this is our augmented reality sandbox, and it can actually show you the formation of the Sierra Nevadas just outside of Sharpstooth Hill, where you guys were this morning. So imagine, if you will, that this is the ocean where Sharpstooth would have been at. 80 million years ago, during the time of the dinosaurs, during the Cretaceous period, a fault actually would have subducted below the North American plate and pushed up the Sierra Nevada mountain ranges uh, with the heat of magma. So they were actually a volcanic mountain range. And we can actually illustrate a volcano by using this augmented reality machine. So we can build a volcano with the sand? Yes, you can. <sighs> I don't have time to wait for a volcano eruption like this. It could be half a million years. Let's move on. All right, so the fossils that we have here from Shark's Tooth Hill actually date back to 15 million years ago during the Miocene period. And if you take a look at this painting, this is what we think Shark's Tooth Hill may have actually looked like at that time. So this area was all underwater millions of years ago? That's correct. And if you let me see your shark's tooth, Maybe I can see which uh, shark it belonged to. All right, park rangers, what I believe that you have here is the tooth of an ancient megalodon shark. Of course. It was one of the largest sharks to ever exist. It grew up to 52 feet in length, and it could swallow an animal the size of a modern day orca within five bites. And it wasn't just uh, Megalodon that we had here. We had a numerous amount of different sharks that lived here, such as the extinct hooktooth mako, the giant mako, and even megamouth sharks. Wow. Thanks for teaching us more about our shark tooth. It's hard to believe that it belonged to the biggest shark who ever lived. It's my pleasure. And I hope to see you guys again soon. Oh, you will for sure. Absolutely. Thanks. Wow, that was fun, huh? I'm excited to have solved the Megalodon Tooth mystery! Me too, but I'm hungry, so maybe you should head back to T-Rex Ranch for some lunch. Yeah, T-Rex Ranch. Magical Tooth, take us to... The best nearby pizza joint! T-Rex Ranch. Uh, I was hoping that was gonna work. Bug spray? Check. Jurassic bug spray? Check. Walkie talkies? Check. Firewood? Check. And now for a very important security item. Thanks, Spike. No need to tell Park Ranger Annie about this, okay? You're not the only secret in this tent, right, Sneaka? Oh no! That's it. You still got a park ranger, Andy? You have now put up this tent exactly 200 times. Put this up 200 times and this happens every time. Hey, park ranger Asher, how you coming with your tent? Come on over. <laughs> What? What? Uh, how? Uh, when? It's my new tent. You like it? Uh, yeah, it's all right. Come check on the inside. There's an inside too? Oh, 
Oh. Hey, Park Ranger Asher, did you bring a suitcase camping? Don't worry, it's filled with very important camping supplies. Very important camping supplies? What? How'd that get in there? Mm hmm. Well, at least we got the firewood kindling. Ew, why is the firewood kindling all wet? Oh, I washed them. Good gravy, man. Why? So I wouldn't get my suitcase dirty. Oh, that makes sense. But you know what? That is what camping is all about. Getting a little dirty, reconnecting with nature, and earning your courageous camper badge. I'm ready. Just tell me what I need to do. Forge edible berries? Poisonous plant identification? All great ideas, Park Ranger Asher, but... To earn your courageous camper badge, you must make the perfect s'more. That's not fair. What if it's perfect for me and not for you? Park Ranger Asher, the perfect s'more is undeniable. Which means I'll know it when I taste it. Um, we might not get the chance. Yeah. Where do all the marshmallows go? Uh, here's what we do. You're going to forage in your bags for some other marshmallows, and I am going to go get us some dry firewood kindling. Out in the very scary, scary dark. In that case, you might need a lantern. Good idea. Ah! There's something out there. And just in case, something to protect yourself. Okay, or just in case. Keep an eye out for baby dinos. Well, of course I will. I mean, I mean, what do you mean? The baby dinos are all at Dino headquarters, no? Um, yeah. Oh, good. Then I wasn't suspicious at all. I never knew it would be so hard to find sticks in the woods. In the dark, dark woods. Ah! What was that? Where was that? You know what? There are too many dinos everywhere. Ah! I hope our Ranger Asher's having a better time finding marshmallows than we are finding sticks. Look! Sticks! <laughs> Perfect. And they're dry. Hmm, there's gotta be some more marshmallows in here somewhere. safely back to camp. And now, it is time for us to make a campfire. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Oh, uh, Park Ranger Asher, is that you? Uh. Ranger Asher, you copy? I might need some help out here. Am I doing double? What's up, Park Ranger? <laughs> oh, goodness, this is you. There's something hiding in the dark bushes. And I think it's the... <laughs> but the... <laughs> Just get to the point. <laughs> The dino ghost. <laughs> what does this dino ghost look like to you? Oh, it's like this big, but but even bigger. And it's got these giant red glowing eyes. <laughs> Maybe in the. Ah! Ah! I'll tell you more inside. Wait for me. <laughs> Relax, Park Ranger. It's probably just one of our T Rex dinos. Oh yeah. That's some good thinking. I'm sorry for overreacting. <laughs> oh, look, marshmallows. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, mm. oh Thank goodness.
good news for spare marshmallows. Park Ranger Andy, I think I found your dino ghost. <laughs> you can come out now, it's all safe. I can't. Why not? Uh, I think I'm stuck in a sleeping bag. Park Ranger Andy, this is like the 200th time. And that's what I call the perfect s'more. I'll be the judge of that. Does that mean I get the courageous camper badge? Maybe, but I should try one more s'more, just to be sure. <laughs> I think she said you have to share your s'mores. Maybe we could split it? Fine. <laughs> oh, Sneeka. doing here, Park Ranger Andy? This isn't T-Rex Ranch. You're right, Park Ranger AJ, it's not. But it's similar. This is Reptacular Ranch, where instead of seeing dinosaurs, we're gonna see snakes. Yes! Reptiles! Cool. And tarantulas! And camels! Wait, are camels even reptiles? I don't know. Hey, what do you think's in a camel's hump? Coffee? I don't know. Let's go find out. Yes! <laughs> wow, this place is amazing! Magical. Do you think there's dinosaurs in those hills? You never know, Park Ranger AJ. You never know. Hi, I'm Park Ranger AJ. Nice to meet you. And I'm Park Ranger Andy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys. I'm Diego. I'm an animal keeper here at Reptacular Ranch. Thank you guys for joining us today. We're so excited to be here. So what animals are we going to be seeing today? So today you guys will be seeing a red tegu, uh, Asian water monitor, some California desert tortoises, uh, you guys will be seeing a tarantula, Ugh. a couple of snakes, and I hear you guys are going to be meeting Herbie the camel. The highlight of my day! Are we going to see any dinosaurs? So, unfortunately, dinosaurs went extinct a long time ago. But we are going to get to meet some other descendants. So come on, I'll show you guys around. Great! Thanks. Super exciting! Whoa! Water crossing! I got this. Uh, guys... There is a bridge. We're on an, an adventure! adventure! All right, Rangers, you guys ready to meet your first animal? Sure! sure. This is the home of Aang, the Asian water monitor. He's a pretty cool lizard. So, without further ado. <gasps> Whoa! Yeah, he usually does get that reaction. These guys originate in Southeast Asia. They, in nature, are carnivores out in the wild. But in captivity, this guy eats mice, rats, dog food, and veggies. Sounds like you. Eat anything. True to his name, they are excellent swimmers. He does love water. And they also have a very long tongue that allows him to sense the world around him. So, do you guys want to take him out for a walk? Yes! You could do that? Of course. Let's get a harness on him and we'll go out for a walk. Let's go! Nice day for a walk. Yeah, with our lizard buddy. Yeah. Enjoying it outside? I think that means yes. What kind of dinosaur do you think that looks like? Looks kind of like a Dimetrodon. I think you're right. But the Dimetrodon's tongue is not that long. True. Where do you think he's going now? I think back. All right, maybe we should see some other animals. Yeah. Let's take him back. This is Red Bull, the Red Tegu. Can I hold him? Of course. All right, here you go. So, Red Tegus originate from Argentina. They are 
Arboreal, he does have short stubby legs because of that. Arboreal, of course, means that they like to live on trees and climb on trees and hang out on trees. Red Tegus are a very popular pet in South America and they are very loyal and gentle. Red Bull here is a male and the way to tell that a male is a male is because of his cheeks. He does have really puffy cheeks and he is in fact shedding. It's a common thing among reptiles. How long does it take? It usually takes anywhere from a few days to about two weeks. You guys came in at the tail end of it. <laughs> he is almost done. His skin has been replaced, but he does still have some signs that it was happening. How old is he? This guy is about 13 years old, give or take. You're a big guy, aren't you? Older than you. Whoa! But well, you're gonna look like a 13. Can I hold him? Yeah! Oh, come here, little guy. Yeah. Oh! What are we doing? We're just done for the day? Huh? Just gonna relax? It is lunchtime. Whoa! What animal is that? So this is a Euromastix or a spiky tail lizard. These guys originate from the Middle East. This guy is one of the few animals on this planet that does not need any water. Like, like a, a camel. camel! Well, a camel does still need water. But this guy gets all his hydration from the bugs that he eats. And these guys are also great weather predictors. So, as you guys can see right now, what color would you say that he is? Brown. Right. Fuchsia. He is gray dull, but as summer comes around and as the weather starts to heat up, he will turn very orange. And as fall rolls around after that, he does turn more yellow. Because it gets colder. How'd you know that? And of course, there is his namesake, his main weapon, his spiky tail. They like to defend themselves from much bigger lizards. You're so cool. Snake! No, that's a hose. Oh, you're right. This is a snake. Cool! What kind of snake is that? So this is Chris, our red tail dog. And she's doing exactly what her body was made to do. She's holding on to my body as though it were a tree. These guys are pretty good at climbing. She uh, might start climbing you if you're okay with that. She likes you. <laughs> uh, why do I get the oh. part with the head? <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna notice she's gonna hold on tight to you, like I said, and she's just pretending your bodies are trees. They're pretty good at holding on. You're gonna feel her muscle curling up around you. I sure um, do. <laughs> Snakes have something called the Jacobson's organ on the roof of their mouth. And that's why they're continuously taking their tongues out to kind of smell their environment. You're also gonna notice she's really loving your bodies. You guys are mammals, you're warm blooded. She doesn't have that privilege and she's cold blooded. So she is dependent on her environment temperature, but you guys are nice and warm. So she's gonna hold on very, very tight. She likes selfies? She loves selfies, she's pretty good at it. They do a scared one. <laughs> Yay, so this is Marley, and Marley's are all albino Burmese python. Uh, pretty young, uh, these guys can get to be over 200 pounds and over 20 feet. Um, so obviously it's just me holding. He doesn't have any feet. I know, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> <laughs> what, what? You guys want to hold? Yeah. We do? <laughs> Again? Yeah. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Whoa. Marley, look at that tongue. Look at those eyes. Bye, Marley. Oh, oh that was so fun. Yeah, fun. <laughs> what do you want to do next? Oh, how about the tarantula? Uh, what about the turtles? All right, let's go see the turtles. Yeah. Turtles! Actually, they're toward a 
tortoises. Meet Leonardo and Michael. What's the difference between a turtle and a tortoise? Uh, turtles are aquatic, tortoises aren't. So you're looking at California desert tortoises. So do they like the heat? They love the heat. Yeah, uh, not too, too hot. It has to be kind of just right. When it gets too, too hot, then they'll go underneath the ground into their little burrows uh, to make sure they escape that heat. Because remember, these guys are cold blooded. They can't keep their own body temperature like you can. Whoa. You know, speaking of desert creatures. I think we're ready to see Herbie. Perfect, follow me. Hey. How you doing, Herbie? Oh, We're gonna give him the proper camel greeting. You can't really shake his hand. Um, you know, you don't you typically do this like you greet a dog, right? But if you blow into their nose, you'll blow right back at you. Everything I imagine feels so soft. I would love a pillow at it. <laughs> get in there, I'll get a picture with you. Give me a profile, like him. Hey, Herbie! Hey, Herbie! Smile! What's in the hump? Oh, thank you for asking. Um, it's not water, because everyone thinks it's water, but it's actually not. Oh. Now look at those lips. They're uh, prehensile <laughs> lips, kind of grabbing on to all of those trees. Thank you. You're Bye. very welcome. Bye. Bye, Herbie. Bye, Herbie. What a nice camel. Yeah. <laughs> so this is Ursula. And Ursula is a Chilean rose hair tarantula. <laughs> Hi, Ursula. <laughs> Just like the name says it, she's from Chile. She's South American. When do you think we should run? <laughs> <laughs> Never. Don't let this deceive you. She can be fast, but she knows that we're not going to hurt her. Now she has about eight eyes and you think with so many eyes she could see really well, but she can't. So their bodies are covered in hair. That's how they sense their environment. So whether it's vibration in the air, vibration on the ground, she's able to sense all of that. Does it have fangs? She does. Let me show you what that looks like. You see all arachnids have venom. It just depends on the potency, of course. I look, maybe you can see it right there. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So they need that toxic or that venom in order to kind of liquefy whatever they're eating. See, they don't have teeth like we do. Think of it like a bug slurp. So they kind of melt it in their mouth. Exactly. So they kind of slurp that melted juicy bug. Hey, good job, yeah. Park Ranger agent. Um, hey, so Park these guys Ranger. are herbivores. So depending on the species of tarantula, they might eat bugs, they might eat frogs or snakes, smaller mammals. So luckily here, we just feed her a good balanced diet of cockroaches and crickets. Hmm, delicious. <laughs> yeah. Now, because the interaction is limited, and I know we don't just want to look at her, right? Yeah. We don't? I need a brave volunteer victim. <laughs> <laughs> Can I uh, put Ursula on top of your head? She's pretty good at posing. That wasn't so bad. Do you want to do it again? No. That was fun. Yeah, that was one of the best days of my life. That tarantula wasn't that bad. Uh, do you want to do it again? <laughs> no, I don't want to do it again. Well, but we should get back to T-Rex Ranch. Yeah, we've got to feed the dinos. Right, we do. And feed ourselves. That's pretty awesome. I like this idea, Park Ranger AJ. I like this idea. I think I'm in the right place. I feel like we're forgetting something. I got the day tripper that transported me here alone from T-Rex Ranch and... Oh, day tripper! Yes, Park Ranger Andy? 
Did you forget someone? Hello? You know what? I did forget to have a second park ranger to your chosen destination. <laughs> That's my bad. Hold please. Whoa! Where am I? Hey, park ranger Ant! Asher? Yeah. Who are you expecting? Uh, no, it's just uh, I haven't seen you in a long time. It's good to see you, though. Now, hold on a second. I, I need a minute. Totally unrelated. Hey, Day Tripper. What happened to Park Ranger AJ? He's on vacation. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Okay, Park Ranger Asher. Are you ready for an adventure? You bet. Good, because today we are at the California Living Museum in Bakersfield, and I have prepared for us a very big adventure. What are we going to do? We are going to, drum roll please. Is that the best you can do with a drum roll? I've never had to do a drum roll before. You got to do it like this. I think we nailed it. Yes, we are here to learn about the other animals that we see at T-Rex Ranch. So I have prepared for us a scavenger hunt. What's wrong? Just a scavenger hunt? Where we go find these animals in this picture? Yeah? It's fun, right? Sure, but how about we make it even more fun by using my new gadget, the brain fart. The brain fart, huh? What's it do? You hold it up to your forehead, say a word, and then you forget everything you know about that word for an hour. I'm not sure I like the sound of that. Yeah, you and me both, Day Tripper. Come on, all you need to do is say the word animals, and today will feel like a completely new experience. Okay, let's give it a go. And animals. I hope this works. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel okay? Yeah, I feel fine. But I don't think your gadget worked. Let's find out. Park Ranger Andy, can you tell me what this animal is? Yeah, of course. That's a, um, I mean, look, that's obviously a, uh, uh, well, I mean, look, it's got, uh, it's got a hair and it's got a nose. I mean, it's a hair nose. Uh, why can't I remember its name? Another perfect invention. Let's go to the museum. Wait. Aren't you going to use a brain for a machine on yourself? Nah, it's way more fun this way. Not for me. Hi, welcome to the California Living Museum. We are a California Native Wildlife Education and Rehabilitation Center, which means most of the animals you see here today are rescued. Our goal is to educate everyone about California wildlife. Is there any animal in particular you'd like to see or learn more about? Oh yeah, all of them. I have forgotten everything I've ever known about animals. In fact, I'm not even sure what the word animal means. Okay. Park Ranger Andy had a brain fart today, so we can make our scavenger hunt more fun. This is a great list. Let's see what animals we can find. These are the most amazing creatures I've ever seen. Wait for me. These are Rufus and Roxy, our bobcats. Hi, Rufus and Roxy! Bobcats are very secretive and are seldom seen in the wild, so this is a rare sighting. Let's go see my other favorite wildcat. Hi, Rufus and Roxy! <laughs> Who are these long furry gentlemen? These ladies are Sage, Laurel, and Misty, our mountain lions, also known as a Puma, Panther, or Cougar. These mountain lions are the largest wildcats in North America, but unlike other wildcats, they can't roar. Instead, they huss and purr like a house cat. Time to check off two California cats from our scavenger list. Oh yeah, and I'm never gonna forget the first animal I ever learned about, the lion mountain. Mountain lion. Is that what I said? No. Oh. Hey, what's that over there? Let's go see. This is Peanut. He's our great horned owl. And great horned owls are also known as tigers of the sky. Tigers of the sky. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Look at those eyes. They're huge. How does he do that? Oh, my eyes are drying out. Same. Let's go see some more birds of prey. Let's go. 
This is Spirit and Lassen, our eagles. And of course, the bald eagle is a national bird. Its wingspan's up to three feet. The bald eagle can fly 65 miles per hour at heights of 10 to 15,000 feet and spots its prey over a mile below. They swoop down at amazing speeds of 200 miles per hour and lift their prey with their powerful talons. With their talons? They must be pretty talented, huh? <laughs> Do you want to go see an even bigger bird? Yeah. yeah! Let's go! Let's go! California condor. How does your wingspan measure up to a condor's? Let's see. Mm. Looks like you got a lot of growing to do. Why don't you try? Oh. Got some growing to do too. And these are the California condors, the largest flying bird in North America with a wingspan of nine and a half feet. What are their names? They actually don't have names because at one point there were only 22 California condors left and due to conservation efforts, those numbers are rising. So you're looking at 324 and 250. So these creatures are basically little flying airplanes. Yes, kind of like feathered little airplanes that also like dead things. See, do I know about animals or what? Time to check off the bald eagle, California condor, and great horned owl. Not for nothing, those other two birds are pretty great too. I agree, Park Ranger. Uh, I saw a lot of uh, hair on that eagle. Didn't look bald to me. This is Snapdragon. He's our striped skunk and has been with us for nine years. And he's nine years old too. What's that smell? Oh, that's the skunk. Why does he smell so bad? Great question. Snapdragon has a scent gland that produces a nasty smell and it protects him against all the predators in the wild. He's a small animal, so he needs a big nasty smell. Fascinating animal. Skunk, check. Yes, skunk, skunk. Skunk? Who names these animals? I don't know. Probably skunkologist. That's a good guess. Next up, we have one of California's most visible predators, the coyote. You might recognize these guys. That's Sandy, Zuko, and Poppy, our coyotes. These guys look like my dogs. Oh, yeah? What's a dog? <laughs> I'm almost ready for you to remember animals again. Coyote, check. I don't know what we're doing, but I like it. You probably won't have any coyotes howl back at you. Oh, okay. Let's go see some more animals. And these are our big horn sheep. We've got Agnes, Sierra, Diane, Ramona, and Emma. Not only do they have big horns, but they're also built to stand on steep terrain to avoid predators. I love these guys. I mean, those horns. They mean business. Like a sign that says, open for business. <laughs> Desert big horn sheep? Jeff. <laughs> Finally, I'm proud to introduce Cinnamon and Louie. I know this one, the hair nose, remember? <laughs> They're actually our black bears. And black bears love anything organic, like fruits and vegetables, insects, and even honey. I have a question. Is this the same bear that's on the California flag? That's actually the grizzly bear. Grizzly bears used to roam around California, but not anymore. Now it's just the black bears. That's very interesting. Thanks for showing us around today. Yes, thank you so much. I have literally learned everything I know about animals from you. Happy to help. Last but not least, the black bear. Good old hair nose. <laughs> Feel free to wander around our living museum. Thanks so much and we hope to see you real soon. See you soon. It's a great idea. Why don't we check out the rest of the zoo? I think I saw some goats and some donkeys that we should probably meet. Aw, you remember animals again? I never forgot about animals. In fact, I don't think your brain fart machine works at all. Yeah, you're probably right. Let's go meet.
me some goats. Yeah, last one has a brain fart. Hey! Okay, Rosie, time to test yourself and see if you have the park ranger pledge fully memorized. <laughs> On my honor, I will do my best to one, always seek out adventure, two, never stop inventing, three, always keep exploring, and four. Oh yeah, four, never give up. Gosh, I'm good. <gasps> Park Ranger Andy, what happened? Oh, 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 Park Ranger Rosie, you won't believe the morning I had. Which I will describe to you in detail after these messages. So here's what happened. I was out doing my post first breakfast gardening when all of a sudden, a big gust of wind blew a piece of paper right my kisser. It seemed to be a map of T-Rex range leading to a buried treasure. I followed the map with perfect precision using my considerable navigational skills and my expert knowledge of the park and its subtle landmarks to forge the most efficient and direct path to the treasure. If you saw me out there, you probably would have thought I looked graceful and strong, like an Allosaurus on a hunt. This map was a tricky one, full of riddles and visual puzzles. But using my powers of deductive reasoning that I've learned in all my years as a park ranger, I discovered the secret way of reading this map. And then I found the hidden cave. Hello? I ran some tests to determine the depths of the cave. Now, being the brave park ranger that I am, I wasn't at all nervous about exploring a dark, empty cave all by myself. Not at all. After exploring for hours and moving impossibly large boulders, I remembered that I had already found this treasure a few months back. Oh! It had been left there by T-Rex Ranch Rangers years ago. So, it turns out I was looking for a treasure that I had already found. <laughs> Silly old me. Hang on, what did you find? Nothing. Just a big old empty cave with a big old lady at the end of it. No, I mean the treasure you found months ago. What was it? Oh, let me introduce you to the Boom Boom Whistle. The Boom Boom Whistle? Oh, yeah. It comes in very handy when you're being chased by a dinosaur. You see, you turn around and you blow the whistle. And then the dino immediately has to stop and go poop. Ew. Tell me about it. But wait. What do you mean Park Rangers left the whistle there years and years ago? Oh, well, for as long as T-Rex Ranch has been around, park rangers have buried treasure for future rangers to find. It's a T-Rex Ranch tradition. Really? Like what kind of stuff? Oh, sometimes a gadget or a, a dino toy or ancient relic from the past. But that doesn't explain why you're all dirty, covered in twigs and leaves. Oh yeah, well, that's the second part of the story. While I was making my way back to Dino headquarters, I was so exhausted from all that exploring that I accidentally wandered into the raptor trails. Oh yes, the raptor trails. I was hoping they wouldn't see me as I was using my expert camouflage skills. But then my alarm went off reminding me to feed the baby dinos. It alerted the raptors. They looked up, they looked at me, they zeroed in on me. They came running towards me. I knew my goose was cooked. They lunged from the left, they lunged from the right, and I don't even want to have lunch together. They wanted to eat me for lunch. I spotted some bushes, and I ran, and I dove just in the nick of time, and the raptor flew <laughs> right past me. And I waited and waited until a coast was finally clear. And thus ends the extraordinary story of how I got dirt on my face and more twigs in my hair than usual. So if you don't mind, I'm gonna go wash the dirt off my face, remove said hair twigs, and so for now, I bid you adieu. Biggie, I should bury a treasure for future park rangers to find. Time to pack this treasure chest full of super cool stuff. 
first, a handwritten note reminding future park rangers just how awesome it is to be part of a small secret group of people who know dinosaurs still exist. Next, a spare monkey talkie gadget that can make future park rangers sound like anyone they want. I love Brexit burgers so much! That's why I eat them for breakfast, lunch, and dinner! I even eat them for meals between the meals! Brunch, dinner, and then fast! <laughs> hmm, I wonder what else I should put in. Buy 100 Rexa burgers, get one free? Psh, that's crazy! No one in their right mind would eat a hundred burgers just to get one free. This is going to the chest. And now, it's time to bury my treasure. Hmm. Can't bury it near the picnic tables. Too many park rangers around. Gigantosaurus Gulch is nice and secluded. Seems like a great place to bury treasure. <laughs> Gigantosaurus, but I think that means I should find another place for my treasure. Bye! Stegosaurus Mountain. Perfect. Whoever wants my treasure will have to climb to one of the tallest peaks in T-Rex Ranch to find it. Time to dig! What in the wide world of dinos could that be? A dog toy? That's not the best place to bury a treasure. Gosh, this is way harder than I thought. Maybe I should give up. No! What am I saying? Number four on the Park Ranger Pledge. Never give up. Time to keep searching. Even if I am getting a little tired. This is it! The perfect place to bury treasure! Even I don't know where I am. Oh well! Time to start digging! No, no, no! No, 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 no! Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Water. I need water. <gasps> Much better. Park Ranger Andy, what are you looking for? I'm looking for my buy 100 Rex of burgers, get one free punch card. I only had one burger left. Um, I have some good news and some bad news. Actually, scratch that. Just bad news. I might have put your Rex Burger punch card in a treasure chest and buried it. Okay. Okay, but the... Uh, but, but... But... I had eaten all of those burgers! And it took me almost two whole days to do it! Oh. I'm so sorry, Park Ranger Andy. I just thought it'd be a nice surprise for future Park Rangers. But... I know just where I buried it, so we'll go and get it back now. Really? Yes, 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 please. Let's go. <sighs> so, more good news, bad news. Actually, scratch that. Just bad news. I forgot where I buried the treasure. <laughs> Sounds like something I would do. I was so tired from trying to find the perfect place to bury it that I forgot to make a map. I'm sorry, Park Ranger Andy. We're probably never going to find a Rex Burger punch card. Aw, oh, don't beat yourself up, Park Ranger Rosie. It's got to be around here somewhere, and we are going to sniff it out. Oh, yeah. I am highly motivated. Hey, yeah, you're probably right. Let's go find that treasure. Let's go.
I think this is it. This fresh batch of dirt over here. All right, let's get digging. I hit something. <gasps> we found it. <gasps> oh. Oh, my sweet, sweet punch card. Oh, I miss you so much. <laughs> I'm sorry, Park Ranger Andy. I won't take your stuff without asking ever again. Oh, it's okay, Park Ranger Rosie. In fact, I think it's high time I put this punch card to good use. Really? Absolutes. How about you and me make our way down to Rex a Burger and I buy my 100th burger, which makes Burger 101 for you on me. But you worked so hard for that free burger. After the day we had, I think we both deserve a burger. Maybe two. Mmm. Mmm. Nothing like a juicy Rexa burger at the end of a very long, long day. You can say that again. I think we wandered into the raptor trails again. Or that raptor just smells our delicious burgers and wants them for himself. Okay, that leaves us two options. One, we eat our burgers real quick and then run. Or two, we just run. I prefer option one, but I don't want to influence your decision. Actually, there's a third option. <gasps> Good idea, Park Ranger. <laughs> Ew. I don't think I'm so hungry for my Rexa burger anymore. No, oh, that's a shame. I'll take care of that for you. And uh, let's walk around, huh? Whee! Hey, Park Ranger. What's all this? Park Ranger Asher, come check it out. I found this trunk in a basement filled with all these interesting knickknacks. Like this old dusty notebook. <laughs> <coughs> Too bad there's no way we would ever know who it would belong to. This notebook belongs to Park Ranger Andy. Oh, wait, Park Ranger Andy? But that's me. I don't remember ever owning that notebook or any of this stuff. <gasps> I bet it belonged to the very first T-Rex Ranch Park Ranger. My great, great, great grandpa Andy. Wow, he must have been pretty great. Yeah, it was okay. Hmm, look, he wrote a letter. The future park rangers. <gasps> That's us. Dear future park rangers, I am writing from the year 1862, where I have just buried what I am calling a time capsule somewhere in T Rex Ranch. This time capsule contains one very important item that could only be used by park rangers. In order to find it, I have devised what I am calling a scavenger hunt with clues that will lead you to the capsule and all the wonder contained therein. Good luck and happy hunting. Wow, 1862, that's almost... One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. 160 years ago. 106 years, that's almost a million. Hmm, I wonder if the time capsule is still there. Well, there is only one way to find out. Scavenger hunt! Backpacks? She yeah. Shovels? She yeah. Dino freeze ray? Uh, dino freeze ray? But we're just going on a full little scavenger hunt, no? Well, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Good point. Go to the place where the winged dinos sleep and try not to make a peep. Hmm. Those titles weren't classified back in Grandpa Annie's age. Tyrannodon? Maybe. Or the Tannosaurids. Their name means winged lizard. That's some good thinking, Park Ranger. I hope I'm as smart as you when I grow up. Now let's go find us a time capsule. Wait. You need to drive. Oh, huh, okay. You say so. Well, looks like we found a Patinosaurus. This is this is this. So now what? I mean, if only we had some kind of marker. 
Oh, well, what do you know? It's time to start digging. <gasps> I have something already. Oh, oh, oh. this is good. Oh, got it. Oh, this is pretty simple. Look at it. I think I got something. <sighs> oh, yeah. Oh, pieces here. Oh, wow. Don't make me beg. Go to the place where the spiny lizards lay their eggs. Well, we know what that means. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course we do. You don't know, do you? I do, I do. Spikes are spiny. What is this? Gardens. <laughs> Let's just go. I knew it. I think you mean expert the spot. Uh, that's what I said. Just be careful, because if a Spinosaur sees us, we're goners. So we're going to have to move very slowly. Very slowly. Got it. Okay, not that slowly. <laughs> ah! Oh! Oh! Whoa. Oh, 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 yeah, oh, yeah, I think I found something. Nice work, Paul Danger. Oh, dang, faster. Hang on, Paul Danger. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, I got something, I got something. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, Talk great granny does it again. Let's start reading, more writing. Are you sure you read the third clue correctly? Go where the running lizards hunt for food and hope against hope that they're in a good mood. That's a rat term. Right? But what do we do now? I don't know. Great, great, great Grandpa Eddie was great at many things, but my includes was not one of them. <gasps> Wait a minute. Look, where the raptors were. There it is. Grab the shovels. Ooh, here goes nothing. <laughs> oh, that second thought, why don't we just go back to Dino Headquarters where it's, you know, safe and quiet? I mean, after all, I don't need no dusty old time capsule, do you? Well, it's not about the time capsule anymore, because if we don't complete the mission, then who will? You know what? You're right. And when you're right, you're right. And you're always right. Right? Let's do it. Oh, things are looking up. Yeah. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I got you now. Hey, where you going? Ah. <laughs> oh. Told ya. Huh. You did good, Park Ranger. You did good. Here we go. What to do? The time capsule is located 200 paces beyond Dino HQ. Oh, are you kidding? After everything we went through today, it was right behind Dino headquarters the entire time? Oh. I'm beginning to think your great, great, great grandpa was in all that great. You could say that again. After all, how many times today were we put in hands away? 
I think it's arm's way. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's hand's way. After all, pigs are very brave. One ninety six, one ninety seven, one ninety eight, one ninety nine, two hundred. Shovel, please. <laughs> dig, dig, faster! Dig, dig, keep digging! <gasps> Found it! Help me, help me! Oh. oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! What we find? What we find? It looks like a dino remote control. Well, what would it do? 1862. Present day. <gasps> I think it's a time machine. Wait a minute. What if it's not? What if it's something really, really bad, like something that drops a brachiosaurus down from the sky on us or something? This is a time machine. No. Huh. Nope. Well, proceed. Okay, here we go. <gasps> Diggity, where am I? Oh, hello, handsome. You look awfully familiar. Well, I should. I'm your great, great, great grandson, Andy. And this is my associate, Park Ranger Asher. Well, pleasure to meet you. That must mean you discovered my time machine. We sure did. Oh, well, I'm glad to see that it still works. May I take a look, see? <gasps> Not bad for an antique, eh? I built this time machine in order to bring dinosaurs from the past and study them in our present. And that is how T-Rex Ranch began. We had no idea. But we have so much to talk about. Yeah, and you should come see all the new gadgets we've invented. I would be delighted. Uh, uh, I'm going to take what I'd like to call a rain check. Gotta go. He took the time machine! They left us with all kinds of questions! Oh, You know what? He left me with a brand new hat, too! A brand new old hat! How'd you look? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Bye, Jimmy Jake! That was close! Oh! 